Here is a scenario of what might be experienced if a large asteroid were to hit Earth. Of course, we can only guess what it might be like, so here it is. It started like any other day. The sun was shining, birds were singing, and Sarah was sipping her coffee as she looked out the window. Her kids were playing in the backyard, and her husband Tom was sitting at the kitchen table reading the news. It all felt so... ordinary. But the world was about to change forever. Suddenly, a beep came from her phone. It wasn't the usual notification sound, and it felt strange. Her heart skipped a beat. She glanced down at the screen. Breaking news, NASA confirms large asteroid on collision course with Earth. She froze. She turned to Tom, who had the same look of disbelief on his face as he stared at his tablet. Neither of them spoke. This wasn't a drill. This wasn't a movie. This was real. And they had hours before impact. Sirens began blaring outside. An emergency broadcast came over every radio, TV, and phone in the area. It was happening all over the world. Seek shelter immediately. Impact is imminent. Sarah and Tom rushed into action. The kids, oblivious, continued playing, their laughter echoing in the distance. But that sound would soon be drowned out by fear. Tom grabbed the emergency supplies they had packed months ago, never really believing they'd need them. But now, those supplies might be the only thing standing between them and the end of the world. They rushed to the basement, trying to stay calm for the kids. Tom held the door open while Sarah ushered the children inside. Outside, the once peaceful neighborhood was in chaos. People were screaming, cars racing down the street, everyone trying to outrun something that couldn't be outrun. Then, the sky began to change. As Sarah closed the basement door, the sky turned an ominous shade of red. People outside stopped running, their eyes locked upward. The asteroid, now visible, was tearing through the atmosphere, its fiery tail stretching across the heavens. The ground trembled as the asteroid drew closer. The air filled with a deafening roar, like a thousand jets all screaming at once. Sarah huddled with her family in the corner of the basement. The kids were crying. Tom's face was pale, but he was silent, his arms wrapped around them all. And then, the impact. The earth itself seemed to scream. The force of the collision sent a shockwave that tore through the land, flattening buildings, uprooting trees, and shattering glass. For hundreds of miles, everything was obliterated in an instant. The light from the explosion was blinding, turning night into day for a brief, terrifying moment. But for those like Sarah's family, far enough from the direct hit, survival came with a price. The hours after the impact were surreal. The tremors gradually stopped, but the world outside was unrecognizable. The sky was dark, filled with ash and debris that blocked out the sun. Silence reigned, except for the occasional distant sound of something collapsing. Tom ventured upstairs to check on the house. When he opened the door, it was like stepping into another world. Their home was still standing, but barely. The windows had shattered, the roof had caved in, and everything was covered in a fine layer of dust. He stepped outside cautiously, breathing through his shirt. The air was thick with the smell of smoke and sulfur. A once vibrant neighborhood was now a wasteland. Cars were overturned, trees lay like broken matchsticks across the road and the only sound was the howling wind. The sky remained dark, the sun hidden behind layers of soot. Sarah joined him, holding their youngest in her arms. Is it over? She asked, her voice trembling. Tom shook his head. No, he whispered. It's just beginning. Days passed, then weeks. The sun never came back. The world had plunged into darkness, a nuclear winter brought on by the asteroid's collision. Temperatures dropped, crops failed, and the little food they had started running out. The few survivors in their neighborhood gathered what they could, but tensions were rising, resources were scarce, and fear made people desperate. Sarah and Tom huddled with their children in the basement, wrapping them in every blanket they had. Outside, the world was freezing. Snow began to fall, 
but it wasn't the kind that kids made snowmen with. This snow was gray, tainted with ash. Each day felt colder than the last. Tom managed to get the generator running again. For a few precious hours, there was light and heat. They rationed their food carefully, trying to make it last, but it was becoming clear they wouldn't survive like this for long. 